California, please put your hands together for Mr. Jamie Fox, Check it out. When I say hey, you say ho, hey, hey. When I say want some, you say mo, want some, want some. Do the ladies run this motherfucker? Do the ladies run this motherfucker? Or do the players run this motherfucker? I think the players run this motherfucker. Yeah. Oak Town, it's off the heezy for cheesy. It's off the hizzle for shizzle, Oak Town, huh? That ain't got shit to do with nothing. <laughs> I just want to let you know I've been working out like a motherfucker. Got, got no drawers on either. Just, you see, is that? Hey, motherfucker. Yeah, shit, you see that? Got it on big screen. You see the helmet, you see the... Look, 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 look. You see it, you see it. Don't act like you don't see this motherfucker. You see it. I'll cock it for you. I knocked the perm out your head with the... Poof. I knocked the perm. Throw some pussy in there. It's like skeet shooting. I ain't playing. Look, 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 I can hit you from here with this motherfucker. Just... Stop now. Well, that's my area, right? Do you laugh too hard to go right in your mouth? If... <laughs> oh, uh-uh, Jamie, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, uh, motherfucker, don't be playing with me and shit like that. What's wrong? <laughs> oh, uh, mm, 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 mm. You been eating sweets? <laughs> How do women know that y'all got some good ass taste buds? You ever have a woman tell you what you ate after she sucked your dick? Mm. You must have went to Burger King or something. You are tart. That's a real good dick sucker right there. You know a woman is a good dick sucker when she put the hair in the ponytail. You'll be like, hold on, motherfucker. I'm gonna suck your motherfucking balls through your ass. You don't know who you fucking with. I will. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tie this shit up. I'm gonna suck the sh suck your booty off your back, motherfucker. You don't know who the fuck you fucking with. Let me tie this shit up so I can suck your motherfucker. Look, black women don't like all the, ooh, he is just so nasty. Don't like that freaky stuff, huh? Black women don't like, who's freakier, black women or white women? Look, the, look at white women, you're fucking right, mother. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> fucking yes, come on, Jamie, what the fuck? You know how you know white women are freaker than black women? Cause black women will tell you get a white woman if you try something too freaky with them. You ever try to like stick your finger in a black girl booty or something? They don't like that. Hey, hey motherfucker, I ain't no white girl. What the fuck is wrong with you putting your finger in my goddamn booty, bitch? You put your finger in my booty? What is wrong with you? You didn't even cut your fucking fingernails. You could have severed me. Shit, I'm severed. I am severed. Put your finger in my booty. I bet I'll be bleeding. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Hold on. If I'm bleeding, I'm gonna kick your ass. What is that? What is that? What is that? Your fucking fingernail. Ooh, I done ouch. I think you hit a nerve or something. I done lost my hip control. You done hit a nerve. What is that? Oh, that's lint. That's toilet tissue. God bless America, man. Huh? God bless America, but I'm paranoid as hell. Everybody look like the Taliban to me. I can't figure, I'm just paranoid. Even if you light skin, I'm like, hey, motherfucker, I can't tell what you is. You know, you a Taliban. 
And they tell you don't discriminate, but shit, I can't, I, if it was up to me, I'd take all of them to jail. I'd just start rounding everybody up. Rick Fox, all of them. Come on, Rick, you in the hair, let's go. In the bus, you in the, in the locks, let's go. I know you're cute, let's go, motherfucker. Because we too free. We too free. We done let too many people in the country, and now we don't know who the hell is what. I think let's just go back to black, white, and Mexican. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. You know what black people gonna do. We gonna barbecue. That's all we do. Because we too free. I'm, I get on the plane. I had to fly out here. I'm nervous as a motherfucker. I'm like... I'm checking everybody. As soon as they frisk somebody, I frisk them too. Hold on, play. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What you got in your ass? What you... All right, go on. And then I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, one of them... Tannen bomb, whatever the Taliban's, come sit right next to me on the plane. I'm like, Ain't this, oh, oh shit, this motherfucker. And you know how you don't talk shit about what you would have done on the plane and shit. If that'd have been me, I'd have kicked. Shit, I was nervous as a mother. I said, here come this Taliban right here. Do they see him? Do they see this motherfucker? It's a fucking hold on, no. Boom, boom. I, 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 I think we got a, a, a Taliban is sitting right next to me. Please. Come get this motherfucker. I don't know what he is. Boom, please. Would you like some water, sir? No, bitch, get me a knife. And then and, and, and I see, I'm, I'm seeing he got his head down. I said, oh shit, he concentrating on some shit. He didn't eat the peanuts. And you know you gotta eat the peanuts. You hungry, it must be the, it must be the Ramadan because he ain't eating the peanuts. It's got to be the boom. It's a tally, it's a tally bomb or something. It's a tannin bomb. Please come get this tally whacker. I don't know what the fuck is calling. Because even if you did get on the plane, we so free, even if you did get on the plane and everybody on there was American, wouldn't you feel good? Huh? Wouldn't you feel good? But wouldn't it be fucked up as the plane was taking off, the pilot came on, welcome to flight 666, ain't this a bitch? Someone trying to act like they Mexican, no, that tripped me out. I went to 7-Eleven, he had changed his name past the Oscar. I was like, what's up, man? Buenos dias, Holmes. What? <laughs> Buenos dias, man. Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, hey, your name Habib? Oh, no, Oscar, man. Oscar de la Hoya, man. Okay, 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 okay. You trying to trick a motherfucker, huh? Okay, all right, then say welcome to 7-Eleven. Okay, you heard me. Say welcome to 7-Eleven. Uh, <laughs> say it. Welcome to 7-Eleven, may I take you on the piece, my <laughs> Taliban, can't fool me. George Bush, is he doing it? Y'all still ain't, you still don't feel safe, do you? I, he, don't, he didn't make me feel safe at first. Wasn't he scared of something? I could, he couldn't read, he don't read well. You ever seen when he was trying to read, when he was first trying to be the president? That's when it made me nervous. Because education, that ain't his field. You know what I'm saying? Drugs and alcohol, that's his field, but he can't speak on that. But I couldn't, I didn't like the way he talked, you know, he couldn't read the prompt. Did well, as I have said, I'm going to go, go back. I, and, and we will, uh, uh, Shit, go back to that. I don't, I can't read that shit. Turn, turn the talk box off. I can't read that. We love the us, eh? Oh, that's USA. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you gotta hand it to George Bush when they start talking about war. Was that motherfucker hype? He came out with a different walk. You see that walk he got in there? We're going to get them motherfuckers. We ain't going to take it easy on them sons of bitches. We're going to get the fucking Taliban, the fucking KC, and the Sunshine Band. Give a fuck if it's a Gap Band, the Average White Band. We're going to get all the bands and pretending to be Mexicans. Too free. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think, though, I think when I think about it, it you better be glad you're in America. Cause they dropping bombs and food. 
you might dodge a missile and get hit by a roast. Oh, they've killed my son with the poisonous pot roast. Give you a scud missile with extra cheese and shit. <laughs> Bill Clinton, would he handle it? I think I would have felt just a little bit better if Bill would have. Because I think Bill would have handled it smooth. He'd have just went over there to talk to Osama Bin Laden. He'd have just went over there. Hey, where, anybody seen a... Hey, Bin, hey, Bin Laden, Osama, man, what the fuck is your fucking problem? Hey, man, you got to chill out, man. What the fuck is wrong with you trying to blow up everything, motherfucker? Shit. Hey, man, let's chase these bitches, man. Come on. Chase these motherfucking bitches, motherfucker. Yeah, you want to hit this? Chill out, motherfucker. You know what it is, man. You need some pussy, man. You got bitches all around you, but you don't know what they look like. You got them covered up. Unveil some of these motherfuckers, man. It might be some ass under there, motherfucker. Come on, Osama. That bitch, look at that bitch got ass right there. Son of a bitch. Mwah. Put down the bombs and pick up a bong. You know what I'm saying? Change your name to Osama Bin Loudon. What kind of name is that, man? How about Osama Bin Drinking, huh? huh? Osama Bin Fucking. Osama Bin Smoking. That's my favorite, motherfucker. Be glad you're in America. Be glad you in America, baby. And the pressure's off of black people now. Huh? Ain't you glad you're black right now? Because they trying to get them. And I'm, I'm driving through the street past the cops with flags on my car. I'm speeding 100 miles. Hey, I got the flag. I got the flag, Claire. I got, the, I got a white girl in a car with some weed and shit. Hey, I got the flag. God bless America, man. God bless America. And the thing about it is that, is that you now have to pay attention to what we're doing in our lives, am I right? And understand what you're dealing with. The anthrax, black folk, you, you're hypochondriacs. You don't have that shit. Everybody I see, black, got that. Man, I got that Ajax, nigga, that Ajax. You don't even know how to say it, man. That Ajax is cleaning motherfuckers out, ain't it? Learn how to say it before you die. It's anthrax. Man, that's damn Amtrak. Stay off the Amtrak. You get on the Amtrak, you're going to get derailed, player. Man, don't turn that 8-track on. What the hell? Anthrax. Say that with me. Anthrax. Shit, half of y'all ain't open y'all mail? No way. <laughs> man, it ain't got no red. Ain't no red on it, man. Ain't open it, man. <laughs> Dodging them bills. So you got to pay attention. Whoever you want to be the president, let's pay attention. Now, we got to write the vote. Let's make sure we do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now you will be careful when you start picking your presidents. Am I right? Make sure you pick somebody that you know is going to be cool in situations. That's why with me, I don't know, maybe I just bug out sometimes. But, but if I just had my choice, I'd pick somebody like Shaq. Because he's cool. He don't ever get excited about nothing. He's cool all the time. Did you, did you see the interview that Shaq did right after they won the championship? The dude that was interviewing him was more excited than he was. So Shaq, how do you feel? I feel good. Just want to thank my mother, thank my father, and everybody, you know, making sure, you know, I grew up the right way and everything like that. Just want to thank everybody, you know, for supporting the locals and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to do you know, the best that I can and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I just want Can you dig it? Can you dig it? <laughs> so you and Kobe, you were going to get in the fight? We were just playing with y'all. Y'all thought we were serious and stuff. But me and Kobe, we were just playing and everything like that. We really weren't excited about anything like that. But, you know, y'all thought, you know, we was fighting and everything like that. But, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you know, you know, you know, Don't tell it. Don't that motherfucker gonna whoop my ass when I see him. <laughs> but we gotta save America and we gotta save our own people. We got to start saving our own black people. Because is it just me or is Whitney Houston smoking crack now? <laughs> Did you see that on BET? Don't act like it's just me. Did you see her come out on B? I'm not saying, look, I love Whitney. Don't get me wrong. I love Whitney Houston. I'm not saying she's a crackhead, but she's very crackish. <laughs> Did you see in BET, she came out on BET just. <laughs> it's 
save our people. Man, I'm, I'm saying, if she, the, the poor thing done lost weight, she ain't number 26 pounds, and that's all hair. Her little wig was weighing her down. She came in. I ain't saying she's a crackhead, just very crackish. Anytime you can't finish your own song, I'm like, Whitney, is Whitney? I'm sitting watching TV, is Whitney, huh? She can't even finish her own song. And she was like, and I, ooh, wait a minute, ooh. I'm not saying she's a crackhead, just very crackish. And the most crackheadedest shit she said was what? The shit she said about Bobby Brown. We got to stop this shit. We got to cut it out. We love you, Whitney, but you got to stop this. Quit doing She said that Bobby Brown is the king of R&B, shit. Ribs and barbecue. Fucking rocks and blunts. He ain't the king of R&B. The fuck is wrong with Whitney, shit. You ain't that high now, shit. You ain't that high. He the king of R&R, &R. he ain't had an album out since 83. Let's save our people, really. I'm not saying, don't go tell people I said Whitney was a crackhead, I said she's Crackish. <laughs> Save up people. Michael Jackson. You don't even know who's in the video. He done tone his face up so much. He can't even. You don't even know what the hell is. Who is this? This motherfucker's a puppet. That ain't the real Michael Jackson. Why does he think he's a gangster when he's walking? <laughs> you will get your ass kicked in the street with that bullshit. <laughs> Somebody will sock the shit out of you. <laughs> what threw me off was the MTV thing. Did you see him on MTV? It was like he got old. Cause his moonwalk, he, didn't, he couldn't get out the blocks or something. <laughs> that motherfucker had gum on his shoe and shit. <laughs> and his turns were so slow, he was just. I'm not saying he's a crackhead, just very crackish. O.J. Simpson. I... Why wouldn't he just sit down? Just, just go home, just sit down. You embarrassing everybody, then got stopped again on some silly shit. He gonna end up going back to jail for something. Just go sit down somewhere. And what makes me think he's always guilty is that walk. Every time I see that walk, I think he did it. You see him, you do that. <laughs> he wiping blood off his shoe and shit. He looked like he finna kill somebody. I said, yeah, I'll kill you, motherfucker. I'll kill again, y'all. Mike Tyson, I ain't fucking with him. No, Mike Tyson hemmed me up. I ain't fucking with him no more. Because I saw him at a club, and I was like, I knew he knew, because he looked, I said, ooh, we. <laughs> that motherfucker looked right at me. Hey, where your exit, where your exit, player? This motherfucker is after me. So, hold on, where you, where you going, where you going? 
No, but then look, Jamie, come on. I heard you talking shit. I heard you talking shit. I heard your jokes. Because you don't want Mike Tyson after you. He scares. He was scared of average. The hardest dude, he'll scare him. If Mike came in here right now, you'd be scared. It'd be like a pit bull walking here, but don't nobody know who the owner is. <laughs> hey, dog, who's, is, that your, is that your pit? <laughs> that motherfucker ain't got no leash on him, man. Come on, come this way. Come. Come, play a play a play That motherfucker ain't got no leash. Ain't no, ain't no leash on that bitch. Ain't no leash on this. Ever been in somebody's house and they got a dog and they ain't tell you? That they got a vicious dog and they leave you in the house by yourself? And you start going in they shit. You ain't supposed to be in there and shit. And the dog just run up on you. Ooh, motherfucker. Ooh, I can't even move. What, that, is this your pit? Come get your dog, dog. My legs, I can't even... Move dog, come get your dog, please. Uh, mm -mm. You know how your stomach get nervous? Uh, mm -mm. Come, come, come to the dog, dog. I'm finna. I know. I'm, you got me nervous. That's why I'm stinking. You stop growling, I'll quit pooping if you. Real? You know you're nervous when your ass cheeks don't even connect. It's just. That ever happened to you when you're by yourself or with your friends or something? You laugh too hard and the shit accidentally slip out your ass? <laughs> mm -mm. What happened? I, I, don't, I got to go. Where are you going? I don't know. I, just, I'm, I was going to go this way anyway. Where you finna go? I just, I just got to get over in this area. Hey, you know what? I think I'm going to blaze on over this way, player. Oh, you ever been on an elevator by yourself? And you got one, you're like, ooh, if I could just let this one out, ooh. And as soon as you do a boom, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, so, so, somebody pooted it. It's you, motherfucker, yeah, by yourself. Quit drinking so much milk. Cause you know we like toast and towels. Black people, we can't drink milk. I can't even go down the dairy aisle. I'd be like, man. Man, I didn't mean to come down this way. Mm -mm. Damn, I didn't mean to come down this aisle. I was just going to get some condoms and some Chico sticks. Man, it's a long aisle too. And when is it the right time to fart in front of your girlfriend or your boyfriend, huh? Because until that time, you both got to hold your shit. Am I right? You come out the restaurant just eating some tacos. Oh, shit. You can't even. What's wrong? Just now, just go into the car. I'll meet you at the car. What's wrong? Just get, go to the car. God damn, don't work. It ever get in your back? You be like, damn, just listen, listen, listen. Listen, go to the car and don't work. Be, mm, bitch, get in the car. Go to the motherfucking ride and get, don't, don't come, don't come this way, don't come, don't. Well, go on and get it then. Go on and get it, you here now, get it. I told you, go to the car. Get it. Get it up in there. I, I, I did this movie, Any Given Sunday. You may have seen it. My name is Willie, Willie Bean. And I get into it with LL Cool J. Ain't that a bitch? How do you get into it with LL Cool J? But I couldn't understand what was his problem. He was just hating on me for no reason. I'm like, why are you hating on me, dog? And, I, and once he hated me, then I had to hate him back. It was like, it wasn't, he, I didn't start. And then it was things I just didn't like about him, like the, the fucking head, his head. You got to tell, that, that's a motherfucking head. Tell the truth, that is a head. When he took his cap off, I said, whoa, man. Hey, hey, let me, let me get by you, let me get by you, let me get by you, player, let me get by you, player. Ooh, I know you was ahead of your class. Ooh, you headstrong. Just didn't understand it, and then the licking of the lips. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck that shit. Fuck that corny shit. Just licking your, um, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. No, I don't know what this is. Uh, that's cool if it's girls, you know what I'm saying? But we was on the set, it was all dudes. Be looking at no dudes. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. 
got on lip balm and who, do, who uses gloss? He had on gloss. He was glossy. Hardcore rapper, but he's glossy. I forgot on a little lip balm. I said, this one I got on Vaseline? What the fuck? Hollywood will make you think that, though, because the way we got into it was crazy. Because what happened was, he thought we was really playing football. <laughs> he thought we was really on a team. Yeah. I'm like, don't he know this is acting? Because I seen him one time, he was just running, just... I said, hey, 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 where you finna go? <laughs> we got a game. No, we don't. This is fake. Don't you see the cameras? This is acting. I, I act. <laughs> I know I left my tail. I'm acting. This is fake. Anybody hit me, they're going to get fired. I'm not playing. I'm an actor. Don't hit my body. <laughs> but the reason we got into it, it, the way we got into it is, listen, it, it was an argument. But the argument was in the script. This ain't really real. I'm not really saying this to you, player. Look, it says, you know, Willie Beeman, and then wh whoever you think you are right now, <laughs> it's you. Okay, I say my lines, you, and then you say your shit. It's not like I'm really mad at you, okay? So you wanna run it again, and then we, okay, cool. Then we did the shit, and then I'm doing it, and I'm thinking in my mind, this motherfucker is. This motherfucker is really, really doing a great acting job, or he's, he's mad for real. He's gonna get an Oscar for this, cause he has me fooled. And we get the, you know you, how you kind of measuring a nigga, oh, hold on, this, you know, and we get to arguing so much, and the next thing you know, he hauled off and hit me. Now, I ain't no punk about my shit, but I wasn't ready. You ever get hit and you ain't ready? Hey, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, you have to get your motherfucking balance, the mother. The fuck is wrong with you? He knocked me into another movie and shit. I was in the green mile when I stopped. Just like, How you doing, boss? Nice to meet you, boss. My name's John Coffey. I ain't saying he's a crackhead, just very crackish. I got mine in, though. I got mine in. When he wasn't looking. It's the best time. Because I ain't no brawl. I ain't been a brawl. I got that one punch, though. You know that club punch? When you're in the club, that one. They can't be looking at you, though. That one club. Hold on. There he is right there. And you got to cock that motherfucker like this. I'm in the car, he on the ground, trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. You can't let him see you coming, though. You can't let him, because if you see you coming, you got to switch it up. There he, there, he, there he is, right there. Go, hold on, there he is. Hold on. And I like to say something when I hit. Don't you like to say something? I like to say, bitch. Huh? Don't you like to say that when you connect? Huh, don't you say, I say bitch, I say bitch, hold on. Hold on, there you go, right there. <laughs> <laughs> bitch! <laughs> I'm in the car, he on the ground, trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. You can use bitchalisms too, you know what a bitchalism is? Bitchalisms. Okay, educate yourself, I can't. Bitch is the root word, and then bitchalism is like your uh, adver advernal. <laughs> Educate, Oakland. Let's, I'm gonna teach at the same time. I'm here to teach too. Bitchalism, root word, bitch, botulism. <laughs> it's in the Webster's. Emmanuel uh, Webster. <laughs> bitchalism is where you add something to it when you connect. Like you add, hold on, oh, there you go. <laughs> You don't know who the fuck I am.
I'm in the car, he on the ground, trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. That's bitchalisms. <laughs> Oak Town. Puffy tried to roll up on me. It really, it really wasn't him, I can't blame him. It was, it was actually Jennifer that was mad at me. But he was just trying to come to her, you know, honor or whatever. But you know, I do, do jokes, this is my job. And, and I was doing some jokes on Saturday Night Live about, you know, Puffy and Jennifer, and she got mad. I saw her at the Grammys, and she was upset with me. Now, you know, I know Jennifer from In Living Color. You know, she was the fly girl and everything like that. You know what I'm saying, we go back. You know what I'm saying, I remember before the J-Lo, you know. I remember when it was just, hey, hey ho. I'm serious. Don't try to front on me. I'm like, hey, hey ho, hey ho. I remember before the J-Lo, it was hey ho. And she just was real upset with me. But I, I walked up to her behind the stage at the Grammys. I'm saying, hey, Jennifer, you know, what's up? Psst, psst, psst. She hit me with the beatbox. <laughs> Fellas know what I'm talking about when I say the beatbox, don't you? You ever ask a girl at the club to dance, hey, can I have a dance? Psst, psst. Dougie Fresh? <laughs> so she hit me with the beatbox. I'm like, yo, 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 Jay, Jen, Jennifer, J Lo. You know, hey ho, I'm all, you know, what's wrong? I'm, I'm mad at you. I'm mad, I am so steamed at you. Cause you did jokes about me, you said I couldn't sing. Come on, man, keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. Oakland, we going to keep it real? I do what I do, you do what you do. Keep it real. And then that's when, that's when Puffy came in. He was like. <laughs> take that, take that, take that, take that. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. And he stepped to me, but it was because of his woman, you know what I'm saying? I understand. I ain't got no beef with Puffy. He was trying to protect his woman and stuff. And he was like, and you know, I didn't really understand all he was saying. You know, Puffy, Puffy you know, his mouth is a little afflicted. Because it didn't, you can't understand. Well, huh? First of all, I didn't really appreciate all that. Huh? What? Wait, what'd you say? Huh? I didn't appreciate all that. Take that, take that, take that. That's right. Puppy, puppy, over here, over here. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> he just has too much juice in his throat, I think. You ever meet those people that's got a lot of juice in their throat? In their throat, they just juicy mouthed it. Feel there, you got a juicy mouth. Your mouth is juicy, juicy mouthed it. And you try to swallow for him, like. She got me sweating like one. Any given Sunday, I got a chance to work with Al Pacino. Yeah, man. He had the same kind of juice problem. Like his lips, like when he get the going, he got that extra, and you ever see people with that extra spit right there? You be like, how you get that? You got extra spit. And he was saying a lot of S's and T's. So and I'm like, you know, and I'm right here. He killing me. I said, if I had a squeegee or an umbrella or something. And then one time he said, you do what you're fucking told. And the spit flew off of his lip and landed on my mouth. <laughs> shit, I can't even speak after this shit. I'm gonna fuck around and got the cooties. But I had a good time with that. I got a chance to do another movie. Muhammad Ali's story. Will Smith. I'm moving up, but it's because of y'all. I'm moving up, I'm moving up. I'm moving up. That's all I'm saying, bling bling. That's the, you know, you know. 
But the thing about it is I got a chance to work with Will Smith, who was just incredible. To be making $20 million, man, and still cool like that. He gained 200, he was up to 232 pounds. Boxing, solid muscle. I was like, damn, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air could kick my ass right there. <laughs> and I don't know, anybody, anybody mess around? Cause you, you see that? Anybody fuck around? You see what the fuck is happening up here? You see that? See, I train good. I train good, you know. I just don't take hits all that well. Because my, my, my trainer, Rashawn, he told me, you know, I'm going to hit you back. He said, I've been letting you, you know, get your, get your bearings, but I'm going to hit you back. I said, come on, player, because he let me get too full of myself. Because I felt like I was... You know what I'm saying? I was... Bing, bing. Come on and hit me then, player. Hit me, motherfucker. I'm going to hit you. I said, cool. You ever been hit so hard in your nose, you start crying and shaking your head, yeah, but ain't nobody ask you no question? <laughs> you fucking Richard Nixon up in the But during the Ali story, I got a chance to go somewhere. Where did I go? Say it again. Africa. Africa. Africa, do you feel it? Africa. 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 Now, Oakland, I know what you're thinking. What did Africa look like? Africa looked just like Oakland. I'm serious. They're going to fool you, make you believe that, that Africa got, they naked and they got bones in their noses. Don't believe that hype. It's beautiful over there. That's your heritage, it's beautiful. And they don't want you to know that. When I was over there, I got surprised. Cause it's just like being right here. The only thing about it is, is that right outside it'll be an elephant just <laughs> Is that a fucking elephant? Y'all ain't got no choke chain or nothing for this motherfucker? Now some things you gotta get used to when you get to Africa, like the smells. Bring you an extra set of nostrils or something to click on because you're gonna burn those furs too right the fuck off soon as you get off the plane. Like, shit, what the fuck is this I done landed in? It's like, shit. And, you, and they just used to it. It's so, it's musty as hell. These little musty musty. And you like this, I ain't got no fan or nothing. This shit is tearing my mustache up. I can't even fucking inhale in this motherfucker. I'm like, I'm gonna get my little air like this. Shit, these motherfuckers. Cause it's a different kind of funk. It's a different level to their funk. Black people got a way of describing this level of funk. It's called God damn. Am I right? Because you know, it's, it's levels. It's like, ooh, that don't smell too good. And then there's, mm, mm, there's somebody stepped in some shit. And then there's, God damn, do you smell that shit? And they used to it. They just dancing and hugging each other. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, golly, y'all need some soap and water. <laughs> and then, check this out. Flip this. When they smell me with all my cologne on and shit, guess what? I stink. I stink. So me and this African dude is standing next to each other trying to figure out who in the hell is stinking. Mm 
What is that smell? What is that smell? So I don't know, but it smells like shit. It does smell like shit, doesn't it? I got to smelling around. I said, motherfucker, that's you. Motherfucker, that's you. I said, well, you need to take a bath. Well, you need to not take a bath. And then I mess around and pooed it, right? He was like, what is that fragrance you're wearing? What is that? Do it again. Holly willy wang, willy willy wang, willy willy wang, willy willy wang. Ooh, na, na, na. Africa. Flies. Millions and millions of flies. I think other flies from other countries go vacation in Africa. The biggest out of shape flies you have ever seen. They don't even fly, they were just walking on your table. Just. <laughs> when the last time you seen a fly have to take a run and start to get up in the air? The fly was just. I ain't gonna be able to make it, man. I see y'all over there. Bzzz. Bzzz. I see y'all over there, man. Philip, Philip, I see y'all over there. Bzzz. Do, 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 do. Women, beautiful women. Your heritage, your lips, your nose, your ass. It's over there, beautiful women. Now, I was in South Africa, so South Africa had a little mix to it. So, it, you know, because it was all different cultures blended in. I looked up, and, and you think you ain't gonna see nothing like that. I looked up and saw a whole pack of Halle Berries. Halle Berries. A whole pack of them, and I didn't even know how to get them. I'm like, hey, look, boom, boom, Hey, the wala boom, Lee. Hey, the boom, Huh? Bitch. You gotta be careful, though. You gotta be careful. You gotta be, they have AIDS over there. It's a different kind of AIDS. Instant AIDS. <laughs> yeah, you don't get no symptoms or nothing. You get that shit like right on the spot. You be like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <coughs> oh shit. Am I losing weight? <coughs> What's wrong? I don't know. Shit, I'm. <coughs> Are you all right? Hold on. Give me a minute. <coughs> Hold on. Alo, alo. Alo, alo, anyway. Alo, anyway, alo, anyway. Ooh, la, la. La, la, la. And the music. The music. That's your heritage. Ain't no drum machines, no keyboards, no nothing. None of that. They just got it right in their heart, just right there, and they just beat on whatever. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. They just do whatever they feel. And they let me know that they was up on our shit. Like when they were in the club, they played Tupac. They, they play Biggie and everything like that, but at 12.15, they broke it down. They let me know where the music really started. At 12.15, they broke it down. At what? 12.15, they broke it down. And then all of a sudden, all the women got in a circle. And I said, oh shit, they about to fight. But they weren't worried about your social status and who you was with. They were just there to have a good time. And all of a sudden, they did this dance called Kuduru. That means tight ass. And one of the girls, his music was getting hot. She took her rap and she said, And she went out, do, get, do, get, do, get, do, get, do. and I said, shit, and then she slapped hands with another girl. Do, get, do, get, do. And I said, my, I must have cataracts. Ain't no way they moving their ass that fast. 
And then they looked up to me and they said, Jamie, you must dance. I said, shit, y'all don't know who the fuck y'all fucking with. <laughs> Africa. <laughs> now, the most interesting thing in Africa was the safaris. Safaris. Uh, Matt, you want to go to the safari? You want to go? You, you want to go? Yeah. Safaris. Imagine being in a truck. <laughs> but it ain't no bars or no ropes or nothing holding you in. You just, you just, you sitting. You just there. And then as the sun went down, all of a sudden you hear sounds you never heard before in your life. Like... What the fuck was that? I'm like, hey, okay, what is that? I don't see that in my pamphlet. We were supposed to go look at some geese or something you could pet. Cause you know, in America, you know your sounds. If you hear a rough, what's that? As a dog, you kick the shit out of that. But imagine being in a car with no bars, no rails, and people you don't know, and you hear, okay, I'm finna get the fuck out of here. And the first time I saw a giraffe in the wild, I got horny. Cause it looked like a woman. It was, had them long ass legs, and, and the ass was all up in the air. You know what I'm saying? The ass was up, and it's just you know, it's just walking. Just I said, look at this fine ass giraffe, bitch. I will fuck the shit up. And you know, it got them long eyelashes just looking at me. I said, you will have a giraffe baby in your ass if you keep. And the first time you see a water buffalo. Now, a water buffalo is the one with the horns and the hair in the middle. Now, I swear, maybe I was fucked up, but I swear he pulled out a comb and was just. <laughs> but the most notorious animal over there was what animal? The lion. The lion, because the lion didn't take no shit. He didn't run from shit, cause he was the shit. And all the other animals knew about it too, cause when the giraffe looked up and seen the lion, it was like, oh shit. <laughs> the water buffalo was like, get my comb, get my comb, get my comb, player. It's like Suge Knight had just got out of jail and shit. But when the lion came out, it's like he was, he was straight from the hood. He came out like. <laughs> Walked up to the car. What's up, player? <laughs> oh, no. Where you from, dog? <laughs> L.A. You just vacationing and shit? Yeah. You scared? Mm-hmm. You scared, ain't you? Mm-hmm. You scared, bitch. You know you scared. And I was scared because he's sitting, he right next to the car, and I'm trying to ask the dude that's driving, hey, Kunta, is it cool? <laughs> Kunta, is it cool? He right, Kunta, 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 this, Kunta, the line is right here. Kunta, Kunta, you hear me, Kunta. And then he gonna play me cool. It is okay. <laughs> the line is not going to bother you. But the line's like, don't believe that motherfucker. And I'm trying to videotape him, but my thumbs is numb. I can't even get my thumbs is numb. And then the white dude in the car, he trying to get all of this National Geographic. He all out the car. I got that motherfucker. Hold on, Jamie. Hold on. I got the motherfucker right here, son. Here, line. Come on, motherfucker. Here you go, line. Shit, let me see them teeth, motherfucker. Here you go, line. 
fuck around and get eight. You know how white people take it too far and shit. They'll get eight and they'll still keep filming though. Someone tell you, let go of the camera and bounce. They keep filming, they end up dead. But still filming, well here I am in the belly of the beast. Mary Sue Ellen, I love you, honey, but that motherfucker jumped on me. That son of a bitch got me, and here I am in the belly of the beast. <laughs> now, the most interesting thing about the line is the sexual habits. Fellas, we fuck, right? Fellas, do we fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Y'all eunuchs, can you hear me? What, 10, 15 minutes? Huh? About that? The lion fucks for 30 seconds every 17 minutes for 18 hours straight. <laughs> Who's the motherfucker? And the pussy must have been good too cause he couldn't stay in that shit long. He was like But the woman was still frustrated. She still wanted more. She was like, come on, Mufasa, come on, Mufasa. Come on, Mufasa, get this ass, Mufasa, come on. Get this cat, get this cat ass. Get this cat ass. Get it, get it, get it, get this, get this cat ass. Ain't this a bitch? <laughs> now, after 18 hours of fucking, what did the lion have to do? What? Huh? Shit. He had to defend his kingdom. Cause while he was fucking three other lions walked up on him from another hood and shit. It's like there go Mufasa right there. Look at him. He ain't even watching his back. I should have just snatched his kingdom. But Mufasa was ready. He was like, What's up, Lewis? What's up, man? What you need? You want to take my kingdom? Shit, hold on, as soon as I get through with this. Turn this way so I can see him, shit. <laughs> hold on now, shit, don't you see I'm finna defend my kingdom? Stay right there. As soon as I get through with this, player, we can get at it, hold on. <laughs> Roar! Bitch, you don't know who the fuck I am. He on the ground, I'm in the bush trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. That's Africa, ladies and gentlemen. Oak Town. <laughs> Gotta go to Africa. I ain't gonna do no drugs. Stop. Hopefully. Because Hollywood is crazy. Hollywood put a lot of pressure on you. You know, when you start hanging with other people, like white Hollywood is different. They try to like pressure you in the shit. They party to the edge of death. These are white people just say, hey, fucking there's the fucking edge right there. It's fucking it right there. Fucking that's the fucking edge. Fuck. Yeah, give me the cocaine. Give me the GHP. Give me that shit. Come on. And I, you know, I ain't fuck with that shit, but I tried some shit once. That ecstasy shit, I'm never doing that again. That shit make you want to fuck your own ass. <laughs> I took the shit and it took a minute to take. I was like, man, this shit ain't shit. Shit. <laughs> when is it going to work then, dog? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> when does the shit kick in, player? Because I don't even feel this shit yet, dog. This some bullshit ass drugs you're messing with, player. I don't fuck with this light shit because I don't really fuck with Give me no more of this shit. I'm about to get pregnant up in here. Because we don't do them kind of drugs. We drink Hennessy, right? Some cognac. We smoke weed, right? Weed ain't gonna never send you to rehab. Snoop ain't gonna never go to rehab because we won't do that to you. Snoop gets so high, he don't even know he did an album. I was with him. I said, love your album. Which album was that, dog? 
Nate Dogg smoked a whole, huh? I guess I shouldn't be putting this business out. I seen him smoke, they had sex, just. And rolling papers was big as carpets. And just, grab that side, grab that side, pull. Yeah, roll that, roll that side, I'll roll that all the way up, roll that all the way up. Get, get on that end, get on that end, get on that end. You, let, you, letting, this, you letting it fall out, player. You just get happy when you do weed. The only thing weed is gonna do is have you where you can't get out the parking lot after the club. Am I right, you just in your car? Hold on, man, we finna get there in a minute. Gonna... Hold on, let me cut it this way, man, cause I can move. Ain't this a bitch? Motherfuckers don't know how to park in here. Hey, hey, Terry, Terry, get out and see if I got it. Terry, get out and see if I got the shit, man. Shit, I got it? Yeah, you got it. Motherfucker, you high too. Get in the car. <laughs> Terry? That's all, man, but Hollywood is freaky. I'm gonna tell you, I shouldn't, well, should I? Okay, you get the chance to meet all of your, you know, your favorite stars when you're in Hollywood. And I, and I met Prince, you know what I'm saying? The man, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a fag, you know, you know. But, uh, I mean, he, uh, I mean, he, he cute, I mean, he pretty. I mean, how do you say it? I just ain't never seen no man that looked like that, you know, just, just dainty and shit. It, it troubled me, because I couldn't, I couldn't look at him in his eyes. I'm like, I can't even look at this. This motherfucker is cute than a motherfucker. I can't even, this little pretty bitch is cute as a motherfucker. I can't even look at Cause he came out with a little ice skating outfit on, you know, with the boots sewn into the shit. And I'm like, that's nice. And he had a little choke chain around his waist. I'm like, that's, you know, that's, that's nice. I'm not, I'm not looking, I'm not gay. I'm just saying, that's nice. <laughs> I know you think, you think I'm, I'm gay. I'm just saying, I, I challenge any dude in here not to look in his eyes and feel some kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because he was pretty, he looked like a, 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 a deer or something, or a fawn. Just, I was like, I can't. I shouldn't even be telling you this shit. And then he started talking with that shit. Yeah. So what's happening? <laughs> Nothing pledged, you know, shit. So. How's everything going? I, you know, it's, it's cool, you know. I heard you and LL got into it. Yeah, you know, some bullshit. What do you think Jesus would have done in that situation? <laughs> I don't know, knuckle up, I don't know. I just couldn't, you know, get... Fuck it, I ain't gonna even finish this shit. I mean, I, I look... I looked at, you know, I glanced at his eyes once. Okay, yeah. Okay, I was a fact for two seconds, but I wasn't like, I wasn't on the bottom of the shit. I was on top, don't get it twisted. If, but I think, I, I would have, I mean, you know, I, if nobody would have known, I'd have, how the fuck shit? <laughs> That troubled me though, man, because that made me, I was like, man, that's just troubling. And then when I left, the security guard knew something was wrong with me. He's like, what's up, player? Shit. <laughs> what happened? I ain't nothing, I ain't even, yeah, nothing. You looked in his eyes, didn't you? <laughs> it happened, yeah. Have you ever looked in his eyes? Yeah. Once. Then what happened? I've been fucking him for two years now. <laughs> Hollywood is crazy. Movie pussy is different from, uh, from, from TV pussy, though. Like, like all types of women roll up on you now, like, like in, when you're doing movies. Like this girl rolled up, she was in a wheelchair and rolled up. Just, <laughs> just looking at him, I said, what's up, nothing? Just doing all kinds of tricks and shit.
I'm like, what's up? I just, you know, I just like your movies and stuff, you know, just wonder if we can hang out, you know. So we get back to the crib. And she just jumped on the bed like it wasn't nothing. Just come on. You gonna get this pussy? What you gonna do? Come on, do you want this? What you gonna do? You gonna get this or what? Oh, what, you like it from the back? Well, why don't you say something if you like it from the back? I know you like it from the back. Hold on. Oh, I love Benny Given Sunday. <laughs> it's true. Then I found out she was a hoe. Drove by my boy crib, she had a little wheelchair parked. I said, I know them rims anywhere. <laughs> she came back to the crib. I'm like, where you been? Okay, who got you the new grips? Built all these ramps in my house. <laughs> Lowered all my cabinets and shit. <laughs> but Hollywood will make you ask some questions. Like, ladies, can I ask you a question? Ladies. Ladies, where you at? Ladies. Ladies. Could you leave some ladies for us, please? You know what I'm talking about. Cut this shit out now. Now we started out in the 80s trying to get y'all to do that shit. Now y'all just lost y'all mind. All the fellas in here tell you we wanted to have a menage a trois. Am I right? I always want to have a menage a twizzle. You know? I did that shit. I'll never do it again. You know why? I went to the Playboy Mansion. For one, the Playboy Mansion was off the hook. All right, if you know anything about that, you go in there and it's all kinds of stuff. I saw many me in there trying to get some pussy. And the girl just pick him up, put him in the pussy, and walk just... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and it's different little doors that you can go into and get your freak on, right? Get your freak on. So, but you gotta be cool. You can't be too excited. Like the first time I went, I was too excited. <laughs> hey, who fucking? Get out. <laughs> you know how you embarrass it, knock the cool out your walk. You just... But then I found my room, huh? I found my room. Hey. And there was two girls in there. Dos chicas. Huh? And, 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 and it was, they was international. One was Spanish and the other was French. And, and they were speaking that shit. I didn't even understand how to, to talk to them. It was just, I said, yeah, back up, and so then one of them said, I can suck my own titty. And I said, well, don't let me stop you. Don't let me stop you. And then the other girl said, I can suck my own titty. And I said, hold on, wait, y'all don't mind if I pull mine out? And just watch, do you? It was like, cool, I said, cool. Chuh, 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 so they start kissing each other and, 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 and rubbing and, and, and touching each other. And, and it was all, you know, succulent and it was intense. And it was just going down and it was getting heated. And you know what? They totally forgot that I was even in the motherfucking room. I couldn't even get the dick in them. Like, anybody need a dick? I got the dick right here. Anybody need a dick? You're going to need a dick soon. I got the dick right here. Anybody, anybody need an emergency dick? You need an emergency dick? I got the dick right 45 and a 45 and a dick and a 45 and a 5 and a 5 and a dick and a 5 and a 75 and a dick and a 5 and a 5 and a dick and a 5 and a 5 and a 95 and a dick and a 5 and a 5 and a 5 and a dick and a 5 and a dick in your mouth going once. Dick in your mouth going twice. Fuck it. I'll jack off. I'm Jamie Foxx.